Today we're going to make a cat decoration using bakeable clay. I've got a cat cutter, some string and some clay. I've taken my clay out of the packet and with clean warm hands I'm just going to mould it into a ball. I'm now going to use my rolling pin to flatten out the modelling clay. Once you have rolled out your clay and it is big enough to fit on your cutter, very carefully place the cutter on top of the clay, press down firmly and then cut out your shape. You can now remove the excess clay from around the edge and you have your cat shape. Pop your cat figurine onto a plate. We can also take some other coloured clay and make features for the cat's face such as eyes, a little nose and a collar. Once again, taking a bit of the yellow clay, I'm going to roll it in between my hands, which are clean and warm, just to roll the clay into a ball. I'll only need a little bit of this clay to make the eyes, so I'll pull a little bit off, roll it between my fingers, flatten it out, take another piece, similar size, Then I'll take a bit of my black clay from earlier on. Take a little bit of that. Roll it out flat. And pop it into the middle of the eye. And there we have some cat eyes. I'm going to make a black and white cat, so I'm going to take my white clay, roll this into a ball and add some little white features to his fur. So I've finished adding the features to my cat, I've added a little nose, a mouth, added a bit of texture to the fur and I've added a collar in blue. I'm going to use the same blue clay to roll into beads and then once I've got my circular shape I can poke a hole through the middle to make the beads. I made a couple of different colours and shapes. I've also used the yellow clay to match his eyes and now all we need to do is pop our clay figurine and our beads into the oven your clay will have a time and a gas mark on it, so just follow the instructions on your clay packet. Before you pop your model into the oven, just make a small hole into the centre of the body near the top so we can thread some string through after it's baked. Once your model is out of the oven and has cooled completely, take your string, pop a knot into the bottom of the string, and thread it through the hole that we made just before we popped it into the oven to start threading through with your beads. Our decoration is now complete, so now we can just take the string, make a loop and hang it up.